attention has shifted from its traditional PlayStation systems and TVs to cars and the advanced technology found within them. The Japanese company has introduced a brand new cutting-edge concept driven by cutting-edge technologies like high-tech sensors, 5G, and smartphone controls. Welcome to Billionista! If you love videos about luxury living, please subscribe and click the bell so you never miss a video. And don't forget to like and share too! Even though it was a fully functional vehicle, Sony's Vision S was only supposed to serve as a testing ground for the company's technology and was never intended for mass production. However, recently Sony published a video advertising development of the Vision S. Gaming consoles and other high-tech accessories often debuted during the annual CES convention in Las Vegas. A business may release a rare dancing robot to draw attention. Shows in Geneva and Detroit were not the only places where 2020's biggest disclosures were made. Many automakers and would-be automakers showcased their latest innovations at CES this year. Mercedes-Benz unveiled a sideways driving concept car modeled after the hit movie Avatar. Lamborghini unveiled a hurricane with Alexa allowing drivers to order their favorite DVD box set if they are pulled over for exceeding the speed limit by 180 miles per hour. Coincidentally, there were actually two cars dubbed Vision S at the 2020 Consumer Electronics Show. Hyundai revealed the M Vision S. It is basically a lounge that can drive itself, taking passengers to where they can catch a flying cab, no doubt. The other was Sony, who stunned everyone by producing an automobile, specifically a Vision S sedan, rather than a virtual car for their popular Gran Turismo series. It came as no surprise that the Vision S heavily used screens. The huge infotainment touchscreen in today's electric vehicles is as commonplace as charging the vehicle rather than using gasoline. Sony has run wildly with the idea. Even a 10 or 15 inch touchscreen may be adequate in cars like the Tesla Model S and the Ford Mustang Mach E. Sony has fitted a trifecta of rectangular screens panning the dashboard from one end to the other, using conventional infotainment system style touch panels on the center stack and the front seat back. Use the displays to access Sony's extensive library of movies and music. A multi-touch trackball with a dial that can be used to adjust the volume and other settings is also provided. No one should be left out of the screen action. Therefore, even those seated in the back have their own displays. With all that on-screen activity, Sony believes that passengers may individually hear their own audio as long as they maintain uniform volume levels at their seats. The use of rear-view mirrors has also been replaced with screens. This cutting-edge tech is built upon what is rapidly becoming the industry norm for electric vehicles. The two 200 kilowatt engines, each powering one axle, allow the car to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds and reach a top speed of 149. A 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds and a 150 miles per hour peak speed are commendable for affordable performance vehicles. While most cars take longer to reach 60 miles per hour, the Tesla Model S achieves it in 2.4 seconds, and their forthcoming Roadster might reach 220 miles per hour. Depending on which Model 3 version you use, this Vision S's performance numbers are more in line with those of Tesla's base model. The electronics inside are the real showstoppers of the Vision S. True, Magnus Tur handled the vehicle component, but they kept quiet about the most crucial statistic for battery-powered cars, their range. With those figures, 
one could assume that Sony had introduced a vehicle to rival Tesla's Model 3, a revolving $40,000 to $60,000 price tag for unlimited access to everything Sony has to offer in terms of entertainment and more. If you want a rear view screen, you'll need a rear view camera, and the Vision S offers 10 of them. The Vision S isn't just aware of its environment thanks to a set of cameras. They're accompanied by an array of sensors, such as radar and LiDAR. Laser radar is a form of radar that works similarly but employs lasers rather than sound. Unlike Sony's entry into the automotive market, which came as a surprise in and of itself, its involvement in the automotive sensor market was not unexpected. In 2014, Sony invested in the robotic sensor startup ZMP, and in 2018, the corporation committed a whopping $5.3 billion to develop sensor technology for driveless vehicles. The Vision S is a fully working vehicle thanks to Sony's $5.3 billion investment. When it comes to the automobile industry, it's not just newcomers that need to be wary. The whole American auto sector was in jeopardy from 2008 to 2010 due to the economic slump. This led to the demise of several GM-owned brands overseas and in the United States, including Saab and Mercury. There is little room for error when venturing into the auto industry, as the future of the automobile is at stake. Sony would be in a difficult position with potential collaborators if this happened. Sony has better control over all the variables, and more significantly, it is not required to share any news by creating a car specifically designed to accommodate its sensors. A second factor that could make Sony hesitant to partner with any one automaker is the industry's projected trajectory in the next decades. When the internal combustion engine invented by Carl Benz became obsolete, the automotive industry was forced to adapt to new technologies outside their comfort zone quickly. From rechargeable batteries to electric skateboards with motorized trucks to autonomous vehicle technology. If you want to get there quickly without sinking a ton of money into fruitless pursuits or starting from scratch, we need to think creatively. So they must do what tech corporations have been doing for years, invest in other tech businesses. Ford has invested financially in the company Riven to advance the research and development of electric pickups and trucks. Similarly, GM has invested in Lordstown, intending to do the same thing. Companies building their own skateboards or electric car platforms, as well as those working on batteries and self-driving technologies, are all examples of the kinds of businesses that attract this type of funding. Of course, Sony is not a startup. Rather, it is an established consumer electronics behemoth, betting that its $5.33 billion investment in sensor technology for autonomous vehicles would pay off in future billions. They need something more than just a pretty facade. They need a real automobile. There has been a lot of buzz about the race toward autonomous driving vehicles. Over $80 billion has been invested in the research and development of autonomous vehicles as of March of last year. So billionistas, what are your thoughts about the Sony PS5 car? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this time. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.